this is a gas tank. Try and reproduce. This is from a 1936 Auburn. This is an old rusty tank. It's been cleaned once but it just continues to get contaminated and cause all kinds of problems. We're not gonna make it out of steel. We're gonna make it out of aluminum, like the ones we've made in the past. This is the inlet. We need to get that out of aluminum. Inlets, as well as caps. Though we have the original cap and he wants to keep that original. However, just in case it was a change, we bought a few in steel out of aluminum. This is the flange that we have to reproduce. We just took this out. I don't know how this works, but it obviously does something because there's a little sealed container and there's one that goes to there and then one that goes to a vent. So and it that, does something. I don't know though. That's very bizarre, isn't it? Yeah. So this is like the only thing that picks up the fuel. This is the cap that came on the tank and he said he wants to make sure this is utilized because obviously it matches the car. Let's show you this piece. This looks, obviously it's a foreign piece. It looks really simple when you see it together, but to try and remake that would be a ton of work unless you scan that and make it CNC, which you could really get carried away building this kind of thing. We were very lucky. We ordered this and it turns out it's the exact same thing. It fits our cap perfect. We even bought a new cap that was designed for this just in case it was different and it's the same as well. This is the new cap and I mean it looks identical. This isn't the original Auburn cap but I think that's what it needs to look like. But this is the exact same thing. It's a little bit more rubber here and it fits that inlet perfect which they both do. So we're going to use this one right here. It's 30 inches across. I'm willing to bet that that thing holds. I don't know. I'm small so 30 gallons? Probably. It yeah. looks big. So we're trying to keep the dimensions here because this comes through the car. There's a hole there. That's critical where that goes. This doesn't really matter. It can be a quarter inch either way. We're going to get it in the same spot anyway. We're going to build this in two halves because trying to roll this, you see where there's a seam here? Trying to make this in one go, bending it is almost impossible. Everywhere in town, you mentioned this, they can't do it. Maybe it was done on a open end roller, but we're gonna have this made on a break and do it in sections. This is our shape right here. Here's the end cap. So we're gonna make it fit this. And then like I mentioned, a couple of louvers on the inside with holes to allow the fluid to travel from side to side. So it's always got a supply. Talking of which, there is just a drain right there so we're going to put that back in it just so it's the same we tried to get a few different shops to make this in one piece on a roller and it didn't work we didn't want to make it perfectly square and boxy because it wouldn't look the same and it might not fit so this was the way it seemed the most practical to make it on a break in two sections that way we can keep that radius and keep the dimensions correct uh a, basically a gusset joint to weld so we have a corner joint like this sort of weld a little bit better. Add a little bit of strength. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna clean all this, tack it together, and then see where we are from there.
it looks like under a 1936 open, George. Yeah. Under this is wood. it. Is that real wood? Yeah. It is, isn't it? Yeah. It's not what the back is actually made of. Some of it is. So these straps here, I'm going to break this nut down. Hopefully, I don't drop it on my face. Is that There's two nuts on there. I think it's just. There he goes. All right, so I don't know if this goes on the tank. Got the rubber there. I think we're gonna take that down. Yeah, it must wrap around the tank. It probably needs new rubbers on these straps too. So this is the shape that we need. We need to know where this goes. To give you an idea. That has to be in the right spot. I want to put it in, and then I'll show you. Yeah, that's pretty darn good. It could go over a little bit, but it's got adjustment on the straps. They can have rubber put around and tightened up. But yeah, there's a finger gap on this exhaust right here. Uh, maybe we should ask him and just make sure he's happy with it. Oh yeah. Oh. Got some good marks on it? Yeah. Whatever side it's on. Alright, as long as that makes sense when we get back yeah. to the shop. We got a couple going up and then around it, so. Alright. Well, simple enough then. Yeah. Alright. Now we're just gonna weld it and check it, pressure test it. The amazing thing is getting center lock on these, it's almost the same. It literally is a it's a, a spin-off, right? Yeah. What do you think Porsche got the idea from? putting the truck to use today so this is going to go on the top of the tank this is going to go on the straps to protect it so it doesn't have any pressure points where it can damage the tank so this is long enough to go on the top we can cut it to go around that or i'm going to just let them cut it because he's going to paint it to match the car because this car had a black gas tank so i'm thinking um you know we could almost actually cut that can we make it look pretty decent because it's exactly the right size for the tank or give or take and then of course it has straps under it which is what this is for right here a little wider than the need but it's better to have more so yeah i think we should cut that around that make it look nice Awesome. There it is. I think we put the gas cap on it and we can send it to oh, us gas cap. We got the spare one too, right? Is that's, that the one that came the up? New one. Okay. The only reason I'm running the new one, you look, that's a pressure relief valve. The other one doesn't have that. Ah, so this okay. one. Oh yeah. So it releases, the other one doesn't do it. Okay. All right. We can take that and that and oh yeah the bill can't forget that there it is guys custom gas tank <laughs>